Welcome to Room Reviews. I'm Chase Lee, and uh, gravity is pulling me down as we speak as I do this review. I'm sorry, I was trying to be clever and it didn't work. I'm here to review Gravity, the new movie written and directed by Alfonso Caron. I'm probably mispronouncing that because I didn't take Spanish in high school. And he directed Children of Men, which came out in 2007, I think, with Clive Bowen. And he also did the third Harry Potter film, Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, this film has been hyped up so much that I'm going to lay this down for you guys because, well, they're kind of right. Um, let's start with the directing. The directing. Alfonso Cuaron has constructed the most beautiful, breathtaking, realistic portrayal of space I have seen in film. Like, it felt, it just felt so terrifying and so realistic when you were up there with these characters you know, floating around, um, it, he, he just, he had like a vision for this, and this vision was incredible, this was just downright, it was amazing, it, it's an amazing piece of filmmaking that only he can do, and he's been working on this for like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was like four years or something like that, so this movie's got a lot of like, years on it, and it definitely shows, but it's completely worth it, I think it, um, he's, he's made a lot of movies, but as far as, like, Hollywood eyes movies, uh, you know, for American audiences, because that's just how we roll, out of all three of them, I like this one the best, uh, and then, you know, Children and then Harry Potter, um, but dear God, he knows, he knows how to do it, um, he did write it, and I will knock off some, some decimal points, for the dialogue, because it seemed a little... Eh, it's not good. But what can you do when you're in space, right? Um, it, and then, uh, um, along with the story, like there was a certain aspect, but it's a spoiler, I can't say it. So there was a certain aspect that happened that I was like, eh, I didn't, didn't really buy into it, I guess. So those are like the only two things I'm docking it for. So, yeah, I threw up a three, I don't know why. Um, so those are the only things I'm docking for. I liked everything else. The acting, uh, I liked Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. Uh, little film fact, Robert Downey Jr. was actually supposed to be cast as the male part. And um, couldn't do it because, you know, he's, in, he's attached to Marvel. Uh, but they got to George Clooney, and George Clooney actually did a pretty good job. And I liked Sandra Bullock in the part. Uh, she seemed really grounded uh, and, you know, realistic and stuff. Uh, she, she did a good job. I can't really say much because... Uh, these are the two things I'm getting to that really define this movie. The cinematography. Alfonso, uh, excuse me, Alfonso Cuaron is the master at one-take shots. This guy is incredible at it. If you watch Children of Men, there's one scene in particular that lasts for a long time. And it's Clive Owen on a sidewalk. It starts there and it ends in a car. And like the car's moving. And that's one take. A one-take smooth shot. Gravity opens with it. Gravity opens with a one-take shot that I... It felt like 16, 17 minutes, but that was an incredible opening. Dear God. And the fact that the mo most of this movie is in green screen... Um, you could argue that green screen, like, shooting, for the most part, is not good cinematography, but you still have to know how to navigate the camera and move it to certain pinpoints of the movie... Uh, you know, properly, and for that, the cinematography is beautiful to look at. It's just, it's so gorgeous and so fluid in space, you know, just like, I guess if you were in space. Um, so cinematography is so good. That opening shot, dear God, so long, but so good. Special effects. This is, this is the best looking space movie I have ever seen, period. James Cameron was right. It's the best photograph movie in space on, on film. He's totally right on that aspect. Uh, with the sound effects, the movie is... The sound effects are silent, but they did add like a little rumble, like if someone got grabbed on something, like... You kind of heard that a little bit. I seriously think Alfonso Cuaron had a silent mo sound effect movie, but Warner Brothers was like, the general audience is not going to know what's going on because they've never been to space. I seriously think that Warner Brothers, this was their idea. But other than that, 
everything else is silent when stuff gets hit. Well, I guess when it gets hit, there's a low rumble, but other than that, like when stuff is falling and stuff, like it's it's pretty silent for the most part. So they do they stay kind of accurate to uh, space rules, space, space rules. Um, the um, the music uh, does carry scenes like the intense scenes, like it brings it up a notch. So the music helps it a lot. Um, um, that's that's what is that's all four sections. So overall, I'm gonna give this movie a nine and a half out of ten. I think this movie is gorgeous to look at. I think the dialogue is a little wonky in some parts, and there's one part in particular, but I can't say it's a spoiler. I'm kinda, eh. It's got really good themes throughout. Um, it's got actually really great themes, just played super well and smart. Uh, the visual is great to look at. Um, it's a very good looking movie, and that opening shot, dear God. Um, so 9.5 out of 10. Are you excited to see Gravity? Comment in that place that's right below my face, and uh, if you have seen it, let me know. Um, Alfonso Cuaron. You are you are the man, man of the year so far. Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, I'm not going to go in space anytime soon after seeing that movie, though. Um, I do suggest that you watch it in 3D. That was completely worth it. It made the movie pop out so much, and I got so immersed that I actually... This hasn't happened in a while, but I actually got the chills two times on two specific shots. Like, chills just shot through my body like adrenaline. It's awesome. Like... So good. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. 9.5 out of 10. So thanks for watching more reviews. I'm Chase Lee, and tune in next time for whatever I review next. See you guys later.